Hope you don't mind me video on I gotta get shots out. Any problems with your uh, canoes and the uh, water oh, with yeah. big boats? Or? <laughs> we have. Look. Yeah, finally got a table. Yeah, that'll kick you back. Huh? Really? Well, that's impossible. Well, this camera's not picking it up. But anyways, damn. Amazing. It works. It works. Well, here we are, getting ready to leave Bob's Marina. I'm not sure what he calls it, but the owner's, what's it? Poppin' Docks. Poppin' Docks, yeah. Well, Bob's one of the owners. Getting ready to head back out. Okay, we've got, what, about 30, 38 miles? Yeah. 37? 37 miles today. We're um, south of Decatur. Picked up some pork chops. These are, what is it? Are these are pork chops or rot. Look at them things, man. Still got the skin on them. The date on it was the 24th of August. It's now September. But I'm still gonna eat them. They look pretty good. They don't smell bad. They've been smoked, so they should be all right. Eat them up. Well, here we are, mile marker 671. Sun's coming up. We're gonna get an early start. We're gonna have a lot of wind, headwind today. Go figure. Packing up, heading out. Like right now, I'm filming you. <laughs> She's only 10. <laughs> That's why we got shot. Yeah. Warning, contaminated water on the same sign, marine life refuge. Oh, nice. Really? But this hovercraft, it was a trip. We were camped right on the edge of Camp Pendleton, and it just pulled right up. I mean, not even 100 feet from us and just beached. They got out, started smoking a cigarette, and we're like, I mean, it's so intimidating. It's, I mean, humongous. I mean, it made your boat look like like this. I mean, yeah. they made it look like a canoe. They're so big. They're humongous. What well, they, they were, uh, Camp Pendleton, that's that's the Army, isn't it? Marines. Marines. Yeah, that's the Marine Corps. But it, after they, you know, they came up a couple times, you know, just looking down at us. What you doing camped on our beach, you know, but we were camped right on the line, so there wasn't nothing they could say, right? So <laughs> here I am taking a picture of them as they're taking off. Awesome machine. 
and they got oh, wow. three foot of clearance that they can run over three foot bolters, you know, no problems, uh -huh. go right over the top of this wild. These huge diesel powered props, and it's a trip. So here we are, we're like, no more nude beaches, we can't handle this anymore. It'd be all right if it's all naked women, but it's never that. I mean, it was all guys. Kansas <laughs> Ave, you thought you were home, didn't you? So we are like, where is the closest river? So we looked on the map and we seen Salinas River, so we were like, okay, we're gonna go over land, we'll get on the Salinas River, we got water. Fresh water, because salt water just kills all your gear. I used to live on Can 7, that's why I took a picture, we don't have no mountain looking like that. This coon here scared the crap right out of me. I was laying, I was sleeping on the ground next to this tree and I heard something moving like this far from my face. I'm like, oh no, it's a skunk. So it climbed up in the tree, so I turned on the light real slow, I turned on the light and I seen it as a coon, so I just whoosh, took a couple shots of the coon trying to rob us. They've, they've got me a few times. Get your food. They're smart. They up, they'll open a five-gallon bucket and climb right in. Oh, yeah. No problem yeah. with that. Yeah, mm -hmm. they, they are. I got a good one about that. That ain't even funny because he was videoing the whole thing. <laughs> but you didn't sit on it, did you? <laughs> I was asleep. He stole my coffee, stole my water jug. I mean, I know there's a coon sitting up there in that tree cooking up some coffee somewhere. <laughs> You sure it was a coon? It's not him. <laughs> I, that is a good idea. I didn't uh, think about it at the time. Well, the rest of the food, everything. Yeah. Uh,